that is what the focus area so before you start working on obi you should design your model and architecture in such a way that you are addressing all these issues rather you are designing your data model blindly and you build your reporting solution and your reporting are poorly behaving architecture level design is another area we will be focusing on okay history i'll just talk about history it, it used to be a company called siebel they are into crm and reporting that couple of pre built solution they have from etl as well so they provide more than one layer solution however after oracle acquired it uh, they acquired entire but their promotion strategy is for more for reporting the best reporting solution and after oracle acquired the major enhancement done in terms of integration so as i repeatedly says obi is a one reporting solution for oracle complete product suite maybe your database transactional reporting you are working oracle e business suite crn people soft jd edward whatever tool you use obi is going to be one reporting common reporting solution therefore lots of integrations are happening these days okay oracle acquire the obi consists of server etl engine and reporting there is nothing much we can discuss about over here uh, there are certain components that still we have been using for a legacy application support like we have pre built marketing uh, module so if you are if you want to implement implement um siebel in marketing and finance marketing and procurement area they have pre built a template a kind of template which you can quickly implement so obi still support that uh, we have pre built rpd so that is still there for legacy application support you don't have to focus on to and to that area or agar is is coming up in subsequent in couple of months or quarters you'll find a plenty of plenty of pre built solution for each industry planning budgeting finance procurement every all the area they are going to come up with a, a ready made solution the same concept they are going to use with the sap so that is thing that is a dying technology we don't have to worry about that okay everybody says my product is good so i do right because i have been working in obi so naturally i am more biased about obi however i got an opportunity to work little opportunity to work with other tool as well there are certain area which i really like about obi uh, maybe i am little biased towards this obi is indeed a enterprise solution enterprise is not on theory we really work on enterprise enterprise means uh suppose i am building a data warehouse enterprise means you are not subject specific or you are not domain specific or department specific in a data warehouse i do have a information data for sales for finance for ghr global human resource um for your transactional system data validation you are start your reporting your management reporting there are various kind of report we use we have ad hoc reporting on data warehouse either we design report in terms of a business specific solution like for a world particular department or we design a solution for subject area specific like i am designing solution for statutory reporting for uh, security exchange commission or maybe on designing report for government bodies or or my stakeholders investors so we have a built in solution for this statutory reporting my so obi is not biased towards certain kind of report we can use obi for statutory reporting for management reporting for ad hoc reporting you know transactional reporting data warehouse reporting one common reporting solution is designed for various areas unlike some of the tool like we talk about hyperion hyperion has separate reporting tool for finance call financial reporting 
it's good and bad financial reporting for large volume of data they have got production reporting they call it sqr for generic reporting they have brio or interactive reporting so for each reporting each kind of reporting they have a different reporting solution however this is not required in opi one common reporting can be used for various kind of areas that's the beauty of it that's a true enterprise bi it provide full range of analysis we just discuss about analysis and complete reporting capabilities highly scalable i design my reporting solution for 100 users as a result of acquisition now i got 500 users we can add more server we can scale add more server provide load balancing and various techniques so that number of users are grown up so scalability again depends upon 70% on your underlying database and 30% for reporting side your architecture should be designed at reporting layer in such a way that it can support scalability so obi contribute only 30% modern architecture very generic term obi creates report intelligently and it knows the best way to construct the query in order to save a uh, number of input output memory uses cpu cycle you know and make use of the underlying source as example of is if you are from oracle background you want to use hints oracle hints hints like a predefined path to process the query obi does know this thing it can make use of hints interactive dashboard you can design a dashboard with no programming required interactive dashboard uh, i do not have a dashboard deployed i'll be showing in subsequent session so what we want we design a dashboard with with basic information without writing a program okay it's still not working without writing a program you can design dashboard people can drill down various interface you can use without writing program that is important ad hoc queries ad hoc queries are like we need to design reporting concerning a kind of business user so category of user this is another analysis which we do first part of the category of user call business user the so business user are also of two category interactive user interactive users are generally business analyst and we have got view only user like ceo you, you cannot simply blindly drag and drop and create reports traditionally people think of learning reporting means just design a data model design data model create report and query it it is not as simple as it look we have a interactive user category called business user and view user view only user like ceo cfo so you know. for these kind of users we do design a solution so different user different solution and then we have a technical team technical team we design fun for testing team data validation is most important thing if your reports are correct but producing the incorrect business data your complete efforts are waste so is a part of our strategy implementation when you design a reporting how it looks like to a testing team how it looks like to to a report developer team report developer that if i am working as a rpd i am data modeler report developer has a different view data modeler has a different view right so report developer essentially is not required to know about the business and know about everything about data as a data modeler i should be knowing about business and i should also be knowing about the metadata information in detail so we design solution considering the various category of users we'll all discuss about this thing as ad hoc user 
ad hoc queries are generally done by uh, this category of users now imagine interactive user do it my reporting i am creating report for 60 months of data people sometimes request for 10 years 60 months of data and that report volume is my hierarchy is like this a business wants to do a transaction report quarter month days in simple word the volume of the data is very very high therefore if you give the complete liberty to your users to extract data from any part anywhere they can you know play around the high probability they they are killing the system resources in simple word you need to give ad hoc reporting capabilities to the user under double quotes with certain construct con certain restrictions i cannot allow my user to extract 30 years of data directly they will kill my server right they should also be a part of the implementation strategy so ad hoc query we provide people can drag and drop create report on their own but with certain limitation analysis proactive intelligence is nothing called alert i just discussed alert proactively your obi knows if certain situation occur what how it needs to behave okay uh, next important thing the biggest challenge you need to deal with there are certain terms we use called called data federation data is spread across various data sources and we need to build a reporting on top of that without implementing a uh, data transformation layer so my data source could be i can build my reporting on rdbms traditionally on olap server like ssas sbs db2 olap i can build my reporting on xml i can build my reporting in legacy system or 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 i can do it a simple flat files some way we need to avoid transformation and save the cost that is what the idea is so when i query against rdbms how does it query it sends the sql when it query against xml it send mdx when it send query against xml tags tags custom define in simple word obi is intelligent enough to understand how the query should be sent based on underlying data source sql query your olap server do not understand so it send mdx as a user or developer you don't have to explicitly define obi does it take care of this thing we'll take couple of example for olap server implementation in fact we build the financial reports on sbs if you look at our blog we were the first few people who implemented sbs on olap solution so my underlying data source could be anything i don't have to pay attention what is that we just need to specify connection information okay uh, another beauty of obi you know obi i tell you one of my requirement where my client uh, my technical team wants to replace obi over some tool there was a tool called cognos they want to replace cognos with obi however my business team those who were using report for last 6 years they were denying so how did it come up with the solution obi can be used as presentation solution can be used as data processing engine data query engine sorry right presentation mean displaying data data query engine mean writing queries constructing queries so uh 
they were using cognos and data source was rdmms because of 